Happy St. Paddy's Day to everybody. So if you got a small buddy or whatever, or even just somebody who uh, loves alcohol or just likes green lipstick or anything, you know, if you like somebody, you know, a lot of people smoke crack on St. Patrick's Day. And it has nothing to do with being Irish or anything or nothing about luck. So whatever. I went to the St. Patrick's Day parade yesterday. That shit was disorganized to say the least. Uh, I love New Orleans, but I do not like that parade yesterday. I mean, it was so Irish, dude. There was, it was so, it was so, it was almost Scottish. That's how bad it was, dude. It was pretty close to Scottish. The Scottish people are about the realest people in the game, dude. I mean, they are, they're thugs, man. They're beautiful thugs, man. They are beautiful. They are just the forgotten children of the universe. They still fight with swords. You could be at a hospital in Scotland, easily a couple dudes show up with uh, wounds from uh, ordinary sword wounds. You'd be like, what kind of sword did you get hit with? And he's like, oh, just a ordinary sword. Dude, those people are still just fighting each other with fire, um, biting. A lot of people biting each other there. Uh, that's the kind of place where you still get bit, dude. You got to be on your bite game. St. Paddy's Day. If you want to, it's like the one day a year as a man, if you aren't gay, that you could be gay. I never seen so many dudes, and I think I talked about this last St. Patrick's Day, kissing each other just because they got a green shirt on. It's like, oh, hey, you know, like men just dr drink all that day drink and make you kiss another man. And everybody's saying no, but everybody's thinking, well, maybe. And especially St. Patrick's Day. Everybody got a shirt, kiss me, I'm Irish. And I saw, I saw at least 20 men, you know, 10 pairs of two men, you know, 40 lips, just hit each other head on. Just that head on collision of, of, of lips. And they were just all in the name of Ireland, I guess. And alcoholism. With people wearing kilts, men wearing skirts, showing up wearing beads and skirts kissing other men because everybody's Irish all of a sudden, you know? And so that's the gateway. I mean, that's, if you want to be gay, you know, how Irish do you want to get? You want to duck off over here behind this Subaru and fucking touch each other's warm kneecaps? How Irish you want to get? Because I saw some adult men with families getting real Irish. You know what I'm talking I'm talking about behind the show he's kind of Irish. Because when I was young, they would have a lot of straight men would meet up behind the Shonies and, you know, jerk each other off and do stuff like that and then go back to their families. Because when I was young, you couldn't just, you know, it wasn't as people who were gay couldn't openly be gay. And, you know, I think about that struggle sometimes or what that, could you imagine being something and not being able to be it? That's, I mean, it's just, I, I couldn't imagine what that, you know, that pain of that. But then there was probably for a lot of gay men, there was that one day. Oh, here it comes. Put it on the calendar. March 17th. When all I got to do is put on a green shirt and I can gay the fuck out. Without any judgment. And, that, and then look, man, I saw it in Tacoma. You think they are in Spokane. You think these men out there, they hard heads and they living like this and that. They got three and four children. But they see, they suddenly they see another man who's looking hell Irish. And all of a sudden, I saw these two men just kiss face to face. And they could have been family. That's another thing. You got a hot cousin? You think your stepdaddy's cute? It's March 17th? Fucking slide him a note. Check yes or no, Papa. You know, this, uh, that's the day. It should just be the day where you anything goes. That's what they should start calling it. You know, let's get Irish. You know what I'm saying? If you a lady and you want to, you know, you want to touch somebody up in the vulva, do your thing. Do that digit dance, you know. Get your carpels out. Get your carpels out and go through that brief filing cabinet. Do a little bit of vagiling. You know what I'm saying, boy? They only got two folders in that cabinet, boo-boo. But people are getting hella Irish, man. And, and, you know, and it's a joyous day. And that's one thing, you know, I don't drink right now in my life. And that's one thing I miss is uh, I do miss some day drinking. Because anything could happen when you're day drinking. Somebody jerk you off in a truck. 
You jerk yourself off somewhere. It's daytime. You know, it's like the wolves are out. It's like full, it's almost like a full moon, but all day long. And that's what always St. Patty's was for me. That's what St. Patty's was for me, man. It was fun. Eating chowder and drinking beer and people puking. Adults crying. Man, I saw I saw this one lady. She was probably 37. Just, you know when you're crying so much? And she was trying to eat some, what did she have? A bag of, um, what are those chips? Those, um, they are like these little hats. These chips, they look like little bitty hats. Like you could put them on your finger and make five little hats. Or if they had a gnome and he was wearing like a little corn hat. You know, or a dunce. You know, like if someone, if they, if, they used to have these dunce hats. They were real tall V-neck looking hats, upside down V's, you know, hats. And if you were like a dunce, they would make you wear this dunce hat. But these little, what are they called? Bugles. Bugles chips. And you, this lady had a sack of bugles. And I don't know if you ever had these bugles chips, but they 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 absorb all the moisture in your mouth. So they dry you out. And this lady, boy, she was on, she was on some... I mean, she was making salt water. She was making salt water up there. She was just salinating out of her face, just just wasted and crying. And that's something I love to see on St. Pat. I mean, I don't want to, you know, I don't want that lady to have this pain or whatever she's going through, but it's alcohol induced. You know, she had on that big pink lipstick and all these different necklaces, you know, kiss me, I'm Irish, fuck me, I'm Irish, you know, uh, help me raise my kids, I'm Irish. I mean, she was getting out there extensively with some of her ideas, you know, based on the on the country, on this on this little island of of Britain or Ireland. I don't know if it's an island. I don't know. Ireland, Ireland. I could easily see somebody get confused and think they live in Jamaica, but everybody's white, you know. But um, but yeah, this lady was bursting. She was just just crying, just drunk crying, and trying to eat these bugles at the same time. I mean, at one point, at one point, I swear she was kind of dipping the bugles in her tears, so she would have enough moisture to get them bugles down her, you know, down her gullet, to gullet them bugles. And that was, you know, that's Spokane, baby. People set it off, and people came out. We had a great time, man. We had a great time over there in Spokane. But yeah, if you, I think I, you know, we should just say St. Patty's Day is the one day. Where if you're trying to bust a nut on somebody that's got the same genitalia as you, then you gone. Because to me, it gets more and more. It's not really green. It's more a little more. It's got a little more rainbow in it. And you you would see a lot of gay men. I remember last year in New Orleans, I was doing St. Patrick's Day down there with two of my good buddies, and you would see a lot of men, a lot of gay men out there, you know, trying to dress real straight, you know, wearing like um you know, Beavis and Butthead t-shirts or, um, you know, wearing, um, you know, wearing, uh, you know, not turtlenecks, you know, not looking real gay or wearing like kind of gay attire. And I know that, you know, that's kind of a generalization. I'm not trying to say gay people look one way or whatever, but you know what the fuck I'm talking about. You know, if you had, if you had, if you put a tracker on all the turtlenecks in America, most of them would end up on probably, most of those trackers would lead you to the homes of gay men or Italians probably, you know, or male librarians. So I'm just, I'm playing the odds here. But they had a lot of, um, you know, you'd see a lot of these men trying to look real straight, you know, wearing like NASCAR t-shirts and shit, but also with the Irish beads, I'm Irish, just trying to freaking lock, just trying to lock lips with some straight men. Who are out there letting their feelings loose. You know, and that's how it happens. Next thing you know, boy. Next thing you know, your leg hair is all tangled up with another man's leg hair. Hope you enjoyed that video. And you can watch another. And you can watch this one. You can watch this one. Different options, different choices. Some guy just brings you one option. Not this guy. Two options. Watch one. This one or this one.